Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to acquire the secret Savage Impaler Crossbow Wonder Weapon in BO4 Zombies DLC 1 Dead of the Night. Not only do you guys get an awesome Wonder Weapon for completing the quest, but you also get access to a brand new hidden room. This gun is an absolute beast and even has an upgrade to it that I'll be posting a guide on very, very shortly, so stay tuned for that. But the quest itself isn't too difficult whatsoever, so let's just jump straight into the video. The first step of this very short weapon quest is to just simply go around the map in each of the six locations you're going to see on your screen and melee the candle in each of the locations. The great part about this is that all the candles are in very close proximity to each other so you can pretty much just, just do this naturally as you're going throughout the map and opening stuff up on rounds one to four simply follow my path from the north bridge and you'll be good to go two side notes you don't have to melee the candles in any specific order but it's just easier if you do them in the order i'm about to show you next the hitbox on the candles right now are terrible but a way that i've gotten around this and a way i've got it to work almost every time is by placing my weapon crosshair right under the top of the candle you'll see exactly what i do in my gameplay and you can do the same as well to hopefully avoid any issues with the hitboxes and just meleeing the candles in your game until treyarch goes ahead and patches this this hitbox issue up moving forward the next step to the this quest is to simply just open up packet punch so that you now get access to the forest area in the map in this forest area you're gonna have to interact with a gravestone just keep in mind that it would be extremely beneficial for you guys to have 500 plus points while doing this step so that you can just use the teleporter by pack a punch to whip around the map a little bit quicker not necessary but definitely and highly recommended so considering you guys have melee the candles and open pack a punch make your way to the forest area of the map and look straight at the pack punch machine then turn right a little bit and while facing the wall the pack punch machine is on you'll eventually see a tombstone you may have to go down the path just a little bit but you'll eventually see a tombstone interact with it and then run through the portal or if you don't have enough points just make your way through the forest back into the main hole at this time, you'll notice your character will have a bloody effect around them, allowing you to see a hidden witch. This witch can appear in areas such as the wine cellar, the dining room, the master bedroom, the Danu perk room, and a few other locations. It's kind of random, but I'm giving you guys the best location to start out in, just in case you don't see it right away. Once you've located the witch, stand by her side and just keep following her around. If you do this step fast enough and use the portal in the forest, you can complete this solo in two blood rush modes, and if you want to do a co-op, you may even be able to get it done in one round. Next thing to be aware of is that you can only see the witch when you're in the blood rush mode from the tombstone. It's a temporary effect that runs out after about 40 seconds. Once it runs out, either another player on your team will have to go into the mode by interacting with the tombstone themselves, picking up where you left off, or you'll have to proceed to the next round to grant yourself another blood rush mode by interacting with the stone once again after the round flips. You'll notice my witch in my game was actually in the Daniel Perk altar room and after my teammate actually escorted a little, little bit before I can capture it, it moved into the next room. But if it's going to be in the Danu altar room, you'll see it right inside of one of the barriers. You'll hear, you'll probably hear a quote as well. And then the bitch will come and walk on out. Just keep following it once again until you get to your final destination. Alright, so regardless of where your witch actually spawns, it will always end up in the same exact final destination slash location, and that is the mausoleum. Just remember that because that's very important. People may get confused. Doesn't matter where you start, you will always finish in the same spot. You'll now know if you've completed the witch escort step if she's now visible without the blood mode on. The next step is actually very easy and it's just to kill glowing possessed zombies from the witch and collect jewelry from the locations they died in. The witch will initially be visible like I just said before after escorting it but will eventually drop her soul into a zombie. The zombie will begin to glow blue. You now need to proceed to kill a glowing zombie four separate times each time a different way. The order in which weapon you may have to use varies per game apparently I can't confirm this but a lot of people have different results but just try them in every single order try every single weapon and it should work for you. Every time you success kill the zombie with the correct weapon you'll get a jewelry piece to spawn on the ground of course until you've obtained all four pieces of jewelry so in my game you'll notice that a witch possessed a zombie and now in order to collect a piece of jewelry from this glowing zombies I had to kill it with my gun where I killed it a small purple circle appeared I pressed square on it and I picked it up next I get another zombie to get possessed and now I use a wraith fire grenade to get the kill this then drops another piece of jewelry pick it up and move on I then attempted to get a shield kill on a glowing zombie, but that didn't work because as I said before, the order may vary. So instead, I tried to get a specialist weapon kill. This worked as I got a piece of jewelry to spawn in and I picked it up. The final piece of my game is now obviously acquired by getting a shield kill. That's four pieces of jewelry that will be used in none other than the perk room right here in the mausoleum. Moving on to the final step, walk up to each of the four circles around the perk machine and place down the jewelry by simply pressing square. This now creates a mini vampire zombie sacrifice room. Your final job is to now get anywhere between four and seven vampire and specifically vampire only kills in this room 
Once you get enough, you hear a sound indicating you completed the step. This is it. And you'll be good to go. So you obviously can kill other zombies in this room as well, but the vampire zombies are going to be the ones that count, and every time you actually do kill a vampire zombie in the room, you will hear a special noise, and then at the end, you will hear that special other activation noise telling you that you've completed the step, and can then move on to the final step where you actually pick up the Wonder Weapon. Alright, so at this point in time, make sure you're now set up to enter a ritual for the Wonder Weapon, as once you activate the new secret map area and pick up the Wonder Weapon, you'll get locked into a mini room, and you have to kill all the vampires before you were then let out. Out. So it's a mini ritual. You have to be semi ready for it. It's not a walk in the park I downed two or three times in this the first few times I tried it So just keep that in mind once you do feel you're ready to do this run your way over to the stone right down the stairs and hold square The secret room will open up run your way to the back of it and pick up the wonder weapon Complete the lockdown run into the room with that bastard in your hand and bing bada boom You had just acquired the savage impolar Wonder Weapon in BO4 Zombies DLC 1 Dead of the Night. Now an upgrade guide like I said before is in the works and coming soon once we actually learn how to upgrade it but don't worry about that I will have you covered just make sure you're subscribed and once again make sure you drop this video a thumbs up that's going to be it and I'll see you guys later have a good day.